everyone, I'm here today to show you progressions and regressions of four lower body moves using the KO8. I'm here today with Beck and I'm going to be showing you the progression of every move while she'll be showing you the regression. Okay, so the first move that we're going to go through is a three-part squat. So to regress this move and make it a little bit easier, Beck's going to be demonstrating on how to do that. So if you just give it a go back, so we're going to go into the first move, close feet together. She's going to step out into a mid stance and then step out into a wider stance, going back to the start. As you can see, she's pushing up, she's driving through her heels, squeezing her quads at the top and stepping into each move. So for the progression of that move, I'm going to be demonstrating a little harder version. So instead, I'm going to be doing exactly the same, but adding in a jump. So coming in together, feet close, we're going to jump out into the mid, out into the wide, back into the middle and keep going. With the jump, you work on the whole area of the quad, the outer, the mid and the inner. So the second move that we're going to be doing is jumping lunges. So Beck's going to demonstrate a regression of the move. So she's going to bring one foot back, stepping into it, keeping it nice and slow. She's having tension on the quads and the glutes while stepping back. So that being the regression, I'm going to show you the progression. So jumping lunges, I'm going to go in the exact same position. The difference here, I'm going to be jumping back into the lunges. So jump back, swap legs, pick up the tempo with this one. Again, engaging your quads and your glutes. So the third move we're going to do, it's a Bulgarian split squat, another perfect one to work your glutes and your quads. So Beck's going to be demonstrating a regression. So bringing one foot behind the other into a wide staggered stance, she's going to come down and then pulse it back up, perfect. Keeping full tension on her quads and her glutes. And then the progression for this move, we're going to be opening up one foot cradle, placing one foot inside, and then you're going to be coming down into your split squat. Nice and slow, drive through your heels, Full tension again with this one on the quads and the glutes. So for the final move we're going to go through it's the duck walks and Beck's going to be demonstrating this as a regression with the suspension mode. So coming out into her squat stand she's going to come down into a squat and as you can see she's pulsing up and then back down. Driving through her heels on each pulse move keeping full tension on her quads and her glutes. So for the progression of this move, I'm going to be demonstrating on resistance with one black and one red either side. Coming out again into my squat stance, I'm going to come into the squat, row the bands in nice and tight, walk it back one step each foot, in and out. Again, full tension on the quads and the glutes, keeping low. Okay guys, so that is the regression and the progression of them four lower body moves. If you are looking to put them into your next workout, make sure to do four rounds on each move, 40 seconds of work with 20 seconds rest. It's going to be a burner. Make sure to like, comment below and subscribe to our channel.